Paris is the city of love. And if your love language is food, then you're in for a treat. I'll be taking you along on our food adventures in Paris, sharing our honest reviews of places to eat and drink at, and whether they're worth the hype. After 24 hours of traveling, we went straight to Cédric Grelet Opera, owned by the most famous pastry chef in France. We arrived 30 minutes before they opened and ended up on waiting two hours in line for the amazing pastries and croissants. When you enter the store, they will introduce you to all the pastries available. And we also got a free sample of the vanilla and chocolate filled croissant. The original croissant was super buttery and so flaky from all of the layers. It has a very subtle flavor, so it wasn't overly sweet or savory. We also ordered a pistachio filled tart, which looked too good to eat. And after devouring two croissants, we did find the tart to be overly sweet and rich. Our favorite was the vanilla and chocolate croissant. But if you're going to be waiting in line, you might as well get them all. Another must try pastry is the chocolate and pistachio escargot. This bakery has a royal and antique vibe from the painted ceilings and the golden decor. They offer a variety of traditional French pastries with sweet and savory options. But we came here for the escargot pistache. This pastry is a perfect combination of croissant dough with pistachio flavored cream and mini chocolate chips. The filling is just the right amount of sweetness to complement the buttery, flaky croissant dough. I would say this is not as light as Cedric's croissants, but is worth a try and the wait isn't as long. For dinner, we went to the famous Le Relais d'Entricot. This place doesn't allow for any reservations, so I do recommend coming one hour before they open to line up. This French steakhouse serves steak and frites with a side of salad and bread. We enjoyed our meal with an Aperol spritz, which was very strong. The frites were crispy, golden and seasoned well. The steak is topped with their secret sauce and is served in two portions. The steak was a lean cut but was cooked perfectly. Overall, it is a great experience if you're in Paris but I'm sure you can get a better steak and frites at a traditional French bistro. To start off the next day, we stopped by a local bakery for some hot savory croissants. These were overloaded with cheesy goodness and the pastry turned into a soft gooey mess, but it was still so delicious. Our midday snack was a BBT. This sandwich shop opens from 11.30 to 2.30 to cater for the mid-morning and lunch crowd. We asked for their two most popular baguettes, the La Parisienne and La Mamma Mia. The jamon and cheese filling in the La Parisienne seems very quintessential to what the locals eat. And the truffle and balsamic filling in the La Mamma Mia was full of flavor and so delicious. The flavors of the baguettes were amazing, but we did find the baguette to be quite hard to bite into and a little bit dry. I was so excited to eat at Sheds Janu. They are known for their famous chocolate mousse, but that wasn't the only thing that we loved here. This bistro is on a corner block in a quiet street and has the most friendly and cozy atmosphere. We ordered the monkfish carpaccio, fried small fish and mussel gratin. The monkfish was thinly sliced and topped with a sweet and refreshing sauce. 
This was contrasted with the crispy and saltiness of the fried small fish, which was so addictive. And then the mussels, cooked to perfection with a herb and garlic oil and a bit of crunch from the gratin. The three dishes contrasted and complemented each other so well, we couldn't stop eating. To finish off a delicious lunch, we tried the famous chocolate mousse. It was super smooth and not too rich, but we do recommend sharing this. Chez Janou is a must-see place and is our core memory in our trip in Paris. For dinner, we wanted to try some traditional French Avenge cuisine. And you could tell this place is the place to be because there were only locals here. We ordered the Alligot with sausage, French onion soup and a steak to share. The Alligot is a smooth, stretchy and silky mashed potato loaded with cheese and garlic. It was so rich in flavour and melted in your mouth. The sausage was so yummy. It had a good bite to it and was full with meaty flavor. The French onion soup was very hearty and is a must try dish if you visit France. Overall, this place was delicious and we would definitely come back. Once you start your day with a French breakfast, you can never see your standard breakfast the same again. Corette is known for their delicious hot chocolate and pastries. We were lucky enough to be seated straight away with a nice view of the streets around us. I personally don't like chocolate, but trust me, this is the best hot chocolate I've ever had in my life. It is liquid gold. The hot chocolate is so smooth and so balanced, you don't feel sick drinking it. If you prefer it to be more milky or creamy, you can add in whipped cream, but honestly, we preferred it on its own. You are given a jug to top up your hot chocolate as you please, and when you dip the croissant in, it tastes exactly like a chocolate croissant. You need to try Corette. For lunch, we decided to switch things up and try a popular fish ramen place. The decor inside was reminiscent of the Tsukiji fish markets in Japan. With hanging dried fish and radios playing the bustling sounds of a fish market, it really felt like you were in Japan. We ordered the original sardine shoyu ramen, sea bream ramen and the lobster maziman. The sardine shoyu ramen was definitely the highlight of this meal, but everything here was so delicious and high quality. For dinner, we visited the famous Las Du Falafel. This place was so lively and definitely caters to a big crowd. They are known for their falafel, but we decided to order the shawamas. We got the lamb and turkey, a chicken one, and some fries. They are very generous with their servings. The shawarma is filled with slices of meat mixed with a slaw and topped off with a tahini sauce. Our favorite was the lamb and turkey. The meat was seasoned with a delicious spice mix and was so tender. Every bite was full of flavor. And don't forget to ask for hot sauce for some extra spice. I hope you guys enjoyed our food tour around Paris. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other recommendations. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy your food adventures.